All right, let's start. <clears throat> in this tutorial, I will show you how to um, do a pretty cool effect with any of your pictures. For example, this. As you can see, the real me is flipping my, my reflection now, and, but my reflection is doing something different when it should actually be the same thing, right? Well, I think that's pretty cool, and I will show some people this effect. It's pretty simple. You can do it vice versa, however you want. So let's start. First, you will need two, two shots, two picture frames taken at, at, an, at a good angle of the mirror. As long as you don't see the picture in the reflection, I mean the camera in the reflection, is perfect. Get a good angle and have somebody take the picture for you or, or use a timer of your camera. I don't know. You decide. But you need two exact same frames of the picture doing two different things of course so you can do the actual effect so here I have myself flipping myself out and kind of confused so the second step is whether to choose which is the picture you would want to be on the outside I would or, or your background picture however you want to call it in this case I will use um, this one as my background picture so I am only gonna edit the reflection of this image so for that I would get the other image I will go to select all or control A which cop which selects the whole image then I will copy it so then I would have to go to um, e edit and copy or, or control C which copies the image so I'll go I'll go ahead and minimize this so here are here here we are, here we are back at the original picture the, our background picture now we paste the image we just copied going back edit paste or control V and here we have our second frame so we have two frames here our reflection and the real guy now we would have to edit the reflection so we could keep this guy but erase this guy for that we would have to um, we would have to move this layer on top so this is how we do it we go ahead and change we, we, we're gonna change the blending option of the image of the layer that we just copied so I usually people people do this effect in different methods but this is how I do it so let's let's go ahead and do it let's check it out I go ahead and choose screen so I can be able to see both of the images and then I delete the, the person that or whatever the object or person that I don't need on this picture which is which is um, the confused guy on the reflection that's who I don't want to use in this image so in order to do that I will just delete and follow it with the eraser I don't know get basic brush your basic brushes and choose a good soft brush good size as well Alright, here we go. I'll go ahead and use this one. And like I said, you gotta delete the object that you don't need. In this case, is the confused person. So I'll go ahead and do that. The process is, is not hard at all. It's just simple stuff. Very simple, not hard. Just deleting myself from the image. So 
so far. I choose the leader, my whole me. And this, this is how it would look so far if we were to press normal. Kind of weird, right? That is because I haven't revealed the back layer. So we keep on doing that. Go to screen. So man, or however you want, whatever you want to do. You keep on revealing the guy on the background. What you're doing here is actually deleting the top layer so you can be able to see the bottom layer, which is our reflection, the one we want to use. Let's go ahead and check it out how it looks so far. Now we can just we can go ahead and delete all these parts we don't like. All these parts. Let's clean it a little over here and over there. Over here. Clean the trash can a little because it looks kind of weird. Right here. All these. And there we go. Remember just to go back from the screen mode when you're deleting, you can just simply go to normal and go ahead and change back to screen if you if you find it needy. So that's how you do it. You get that's how you get the effect. So this will be the outcome of the of the tutorial, or the other way around, like this one. Uh, for part two of this tutorial, I will be showing how to put these two pictures together and make an actual GIF animation picture like this one.